how do you have bottom line before the sale even happens? That's estimated then, right? Hey man, that's still legit. Hope everything works well. Hope everything works well. That's that's that doesn't change it though. It's still overhead and uh those things that you guys really are worried about then because those things it's like if everything goes perfect we make this much money but yeah hope you have a good team and uh everything works the way as uh planned out it's just that yeah man business business sucks sometimes you'll have you'll have like one of your guys is trying to benefit themselves and costing you guys some money i've seen that happen where a guy's like, because they are working a certain department, they could, you know, work things out with some of the other companies. And then they specifically get something called kickbacks. And then you guys end up, you know, not having everything work out as well. Hope you have a good team. <laughs> I'm not doing logistics is great right up until they steal your idea and shut you out and put your stuff in a bin with all the uh, counterfeits. Dude, it happens then. That's the thing that I'm not a fan with uh, Amazon creating their own brands. But I mean, I mean, it is what it is. It technically also creates more jobs. It just takes the money from other people's hands to put into others. That stuff, it's, it is what it is, though. They're going to be doing that. That's like the natural growth cycle. You start becoming a distributor. And then after a while, you go, why can't I just make my own brands and start selling it here if I have a successful store? <laughs> and then that's where you get the generic brands because they make it in-house. It's a little bit cheaper. All right. So what was I doing? Uh, yes, I was picking out a... Well, I could send Cthulhu, but technically we don't need to send them. So I need someone with low morale requirement. D Mayer. Mmm, that's not that great. Gilbert. Oh, Gilbert's amazing. Oh, we're sending Gilbert. Our Cthulhu. You're gonna be going with the homie Gilbert. Gilbert, where you at? Alright, Gilbert. I see a hole here. Alright, so there's no artifact here. We have food. We have bathroom water. The rocket pilot could be cool. There's no beds here, so I have to sleep on the floor, sadly. But I think we're good. This trailblazer has steel and the landers inside. Good stuff. All right, we're going to build a rocket platform here for the first time. Yep, it's looking like there's nothing here. It's inside here or nothing. Eh, it is what it is. I don't see a pedestal in here, to be honest. I see a neurovacillator, that's it. It is what it is then. Okay, so they're going to launch. Oh, I see you, Holier. Nice, nice. Good to see you supporting that. Oh, did all the oxygen get bopped out? <laughs> it actually did. Oh, wait. I almost died. Oh, I almost killed these guys. Uh, we are no longer going to be launching. And that's because there's no oxygen in here. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. There is no oxygen here. I almost killed myself. My god. I can't believe it. Alright, so we'll do that really quick. <laughs> I forgot there's no O2 in there. That's true. I feel that. I feel that. Appreciate you, Holier. But yeah, man. Do you think if everyone was conscious about that, they'd be able to make a change? Like, will it actually make them be like, it's time to wake up? <laughs> That's the one thing about that, though. It makes you wonder. You hope that's the case, right? Money talks. Money does talk. Money does talk. Alright, so we got the tile, right? 
We did. So ventilation, let's get the canister up here. And we're in Holier with the gift sub from Ugly Harvest. Thank you so much, Ugly Harvest, for hooking up the homie Holier with the gift sub. Enjoy the emotes. Welcome back to the city, Holier. Enjoy the emotes, D20 dies ad free viewing. And don't forget that legit sub badge. But you know who to thank. Thank you so much for the support, Mr. Ugly Harvest. Thank you so much. Amazon controls the internet. <laughs> Damn. I see a hatchling. I see you. I see you guys. I'd rather not have that be topic of conversation, though, just because I'm, I'm streaming. <laughs> on specifically their platform it just yeah i get it it's just yeah it's it's it just ends up being bad conversation but i see where you guys are coming from no worries no worries all right so as of right now made a mess ari man he still hasn't dug up all the muckroot why is that the case there's still muckroot on the floor all right, Ari, man, we're going to change up your priorities. What are you doing? Oh, you're doing nothing. Okay, so I need you to do the farming stuff. And then the supplying storing stuff. Oh, he's stress reacting. Oh, no. But man, Ari is crying and catching his breath so sad it's so sad feels bad man all right so this is oxygen we're gonna need that not bad not bad dupe abuse no man he just didn't want to do his job he would have been gone from there if he just picked up all the muck root sent it over to the other planet and we would have been done he started at twenty five thousand cake counts which means he's averaging about two muck root deliveries a cycle like this man is slow <laughs> he's trying his best man we, we let him take his time hey we got oxygen let's go how much is that 200 kilogram bottle pretty good pretty good I probably need to start doing that here too, right? Yeah. At least we took out the chlorine. <laughs> 20, 26 grabs per tile. All right, all right. So, no more pee water, it looks like. I guess that's fine. We could mine that out because it doesn't hurt us. This is 8 kilograms. I could actually build a tile here to push it out. I would probably want to spill this as well so we could get rid of that stack of pea water. After all that, there's a little bit down there. And that should be most, if not all, the water outside of uh, what we have up top. That's going to be really nice. Alright, now over to here. We don't have enough water of anything. Okay. Uh, I'm going to empty storage. We're going to release the water out because some of the other waters I don't think we're going to need. So instead, we're going to let this water just kind of chill, have the temperature just kind of spread out. We're going to use the uh, geyser water. Awaiting cooling. Nice. All right. So pipeline that goes into it like that. And then we could get rid of the other stuff. All right, so that's going to be the coolant we're going to be using that's negative temperature. That allows us to use the meta refinery to be a source of water for this, which is not bad. All right, all right. More pea water. It is what it is. Easy mop. 
Hey, Holier, coming in. Eat it, nerd. <laughs> I see you over there, Holier. Thank you so much for the $10 dono. Appreciate the support, man. Thank you so much. It supports me and the Mamba. And if you guys didn't know, it's Mamba's birthday today. He turned six years old. Thank you so much for the support. The uh, money as well go to get some Mamba some new kibble that uh, we're running low on. So I'm going to uh, get him some new stuff. But he turned six years old today. He is hanging around by the windowsill. And uh, yeah, the Mamba, it's not a birthday stream. The thing is, is like I thought about it. Mamba's always napping around my stream time. And if I like do anything like pick him up, snuggle with them, he's going to leave the room. And he already left the room. <laughs> so if we, it's like we could I don't know what to do. I don't have the cam on right now because he's not here. I need a decorator. But yeah, it's the Mamba, uh, Mamba birthday stream, technically. That is what's happening. It's about celebrating him, yeah, but when, when he wants to just nap and not do anything, though. What can we do? Mamba B-Day, Mamba B-Day. Who's starving? How are you starving? This guy really doesn't want to be here. They do as they do. Yeah, that's why. It's like, I could probably, like, have an idea to try to do something for Mamba, but he's probably not going to, you know, go along with it, which is what's tough. Alright, so he's fine. We have to leave him there because Ari doing his thing. Yep, 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 yep. Alright, 6.8 kilograms. We could do that, and we're ready, finally. So, crew, change, we're still going there. Everything is good. Let's go, let's go. Bam, bam. Wait for Gilbert. We need Gilbert to be in the rocket. Let's go, let's go. How's the base going, Ghost Rider? I see you over there. It's going pretty good. We're doing the space achievements right now that we can. While doing all the other achievements that we can do. There's not a lot that we can do anymore. Uh, we're waiting for Super Sustainable. No, we just got it. Nice. Okay, so the other ones I need to do still. Just going through it. We have a lot of achievements already done. I need to do... I don't have a decorator, so I don't have art underground. I need to start making a power control station, which shouldn't be that bad. And then I need to do down the hatch. I'm still trying to get a smooth egg. And then I need to get to the regolith asteroid to do some of these, like a movable object, getting a shovel for Critter Whisperer. And then we got the spaced out ones. That's going to be fun. I need to make a uh, plant radiator area. That's something that I'm going to be needing to make soon. Outside of that, we're doing Cluster Conquest by landing on it. We could do Sweeter Than Honey soon, as we just found a biome with the uh, betas. And then we don't have a research reactor yet. We don't have Drocones yet, so we're still doing a lot of other stuff. Video idea, cr uh, Critter Morph Guide. One for each type, maybe. Ah! See, the thing is, is that I have that information, Cthulhu, as part of the Critter Guide, if that makes sense. Because I made, like, the, the Sweetle video that came out today. We talk about Sweetles and how they work and how the morphs work. But it's like, it's not that I would, wouldn't would want to make a video just for the morphs. It's more so that I typically have it as part of the, like, explanation of the Critter. Is an idea, though. Is an idea. Maybe make a more in-depth video that goes, uh, maybe have designs on how to maximize the egg chance and things like that. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Alright, so I need to see smooth. I have not discovered it yet. Okay, so no smooth eggs. Okay, okay. Outside of that, what is my incubation rate? 92. Okay, so... I think I could do this then, right?
I'm pretty sure I could do that. And then make this into a room. And then have the slicksters here be, uh... What a grooming station. I've only made one clip from your channel. Hmm, Hatchling Man. You, you, you hear that often. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. Hey, man, it happens. Maybe, you know, you're not here too often. Maybe you're always lurking. I also had to delete a lot of old clips because of copyrighted music. What's up, P-Nugget? I see you over there. How are you? 0.2 cycles to get there. Okay, cool. Do you remember the big uh, Twitch DMCA thing where a lot of like partners were getting copyright strikes and stuff like that? I went into my all my old clips and had to delete things because I used to have uh, song requests on. Things like that. So because of that, yeah, I just have to make sure all that stuff is uh, taken care of. Are you starving again? No, no, he's just hungry. Cthulhu, man, come on. I remember hearing about that. <laughs> yeah, it happened. 60 seconds. Right, Cthulhu, we need you to fast for 60 seconds. And then you continue fasting for the next day. All right, all right. I use Streamlabs OBS. But yes, OBS. It's a variation of it, I believe. Alright, so... Come on, man. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh, who's dying? Ari starving again? You got this, Ari. There's food here still. He's only made one delivery today of Muckroot. Feels bad. Just blew all my money for my savings account on a new PC. Hey, man. Do you have your new PC working, P-Nugget? Or is it, uh, are you waiting for the parts to ship? And what was the most expensive part? And why was it a RTX GTX 3080? <laughs> oh, man. Legit, I'm in Swamp Man. Do I plant bog buckets? Uh, it's up to you. Sand Rain, it's up to you. I don't want to tell you if you have to do something. Just play the way you want, dude. Whatever resources you have, you need to make a uh, estimation call. See if you have enough resources to keep it growing. And then, yeah, if you want to use that as food source, use it as food source. No one's going to stop you. Oh, yeah. I, I need it. I, I, I heard about that. I should look into that, but yeah, I haven't yet. I'm hungry. All right, all right. Oh, it's time, boys. We are going to be doing the colonization rocket. So we go inside the rocket. The Gilbert over here is going to be the person that's going to be landing. The oxygen in the suit is not high enough, so we're going to have them unequipped and go to this suit. Gilbert, wear the suit. He just got popped eardrums, feels bad. Nice. So with the suit, he has full oxygen. Now we go back into the star map, click on the Apollo, click on the Trailblazer module, select Gilbert. Come on, Gilbert. And we deploy. And bam. So we go one, two, three, four, five. Rover, can you build that? Or are you dead? Rover, where'd you go? Is Rover here? Oh, there he is. With 10% battery life, he's going to be okay. I bought a pre-built PC. Comes in in about two weeks. Good luck with that, P-Nugget. Hope it's everything you want. 10 out of 10 going to be the GPU as the most expensive part. Yep. What rocket engine are you using? Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide engine. Look at Gilbert. He's breathing. He just doesn't have his helmet on. What a stud. All right. So rocket platform. Come on, Rover. We got this, buddy. Rover got sent over? Yeah, we got Rover, man. He's helping us out. Look at that. It's picking up steel, helping us supply. He's, he's being a team player. And then we need the ladder so that we could go into the rocket. 
All right, after we do that, we're going to need to have Gilbert go in to submit the bio scan. Gilbert, you got this, buddy. Thank you, thank you. The rover will do the ladder building. Gilbert, we need you to go inside and see what's inside over here. And since that's there, we could have Cthulhu landed. So, you could land, buddy. Let's go. A rocket platform for the landing. We're in, boys. All right, so that's how we make the rocket platform on the uh, asteroids. Nothing. Actually, nothing. Oh, come on. All right. There is literally no artifact here, then. Damn it, man. There was actually no artifact. That sucks. That really, really sucks. Water sucks. Gatorade is better. My god, okay. Well, looks like it's time to go home. The crew is going to be Gilbert. How come the rover can't come inside? Feels bad, man. Well, it's time to go home, buddy. It's time to go home. There's nothing here we need to do. There is this area still outside of that. We could just go here to get metal. Just strip mine the map. But yeah, there's not much we could really do here. We're going home. Waiting for Gilbert. That's unfortunate, man. I was looking for some artifacts. I think Ari has peed his pants for like 10 cycles. Bye, Rover. You live the good life. Yeah, don't, don't go out in space. You want to be inside when you pass. He stands at the door. What a mad lad. He's, he's, he's letting out the oxygen. <laughs> he's letting out the oxygen. Nah, he's cool. He's cool. Okay, so we'll come back. We have a rocket platform there now for an achievement. We just got soft launch. Soft launch. We're in, boys. All right, cool. Gilbert's going to get food soon. Ah, they're not allowed to eat. That's why. Uh... How come we don't have rockets separate? Oh, they're at to up top. All right, guys, y'all eat the muck root. Chillin', chillin'. All right, so space food. That's gonna be the next thing on the list. Uh, let's mine that out. Let's try to get rid of the ladders. And then let's continue mining. We got to get rid of the things here anyways. Is is this guy ready to come home? There's still so much muck root over here, though. But he's, he's constantly sad, crying face. 50% almost, Kappa. All right, we're sending him home. You tried your best, man. We, we really just don't have a lot of... I could just take off the suit. All right, you know what? We'll unequip the suit. You're no longer going to have the, the cry tears, the pee water inside. We just need you to work. Feels bad, man. But he'll, he'll be okay. He'll be okay. So we want to do mining like this. That's a lot of water inside, dude. That, that, was, that was a dupe trying to become Aquaman. They heard about the rumors and they're like, Hey man, I could be Aquaman. I just got to sit in water all day. And just like that, he's running a uh, build-your-own lake. He was, he was playing an aquarium tycoon inside of his suit. Is this guy tame? He is. Nice. So Critter Whisperer, another Critter down. Okay, so we all have is Shovel, Slickster, and a Gassy Moo. Gassy Moo. It's gross, man. They don't think it be like it is, but it do. All right, they're about to hatch. So, we're going to have our grooming station right here. I need to make sure the we tame them before they die from the cold energy. <laughs> I'm worried about that, man. The Slicksters, they, they pop if it's below 35 degrees. This area is at 50 degrees. It's barely, like, warm enough to try to keep them alive. 
So we need to tame them before they potentially pop. Okay, so they're still grabbing pea water from there. That's great, because we need that for that. I still need to get the polluted dirt, which is a great wipe for us like that. All right, so Sweetos and Pips. I would love to get the liquid sulfur to make this easier, but I don't think I have the ability to do that. Glass Lake. Glass Lake. Isn't that a uh, computer processor? No, that's Coffee Lake. My bad. I thought that was the name of a processor, dude. Now, what should I do with the water? I could just drip the water back into here. And the oxygen is slightly going down. Okay. So we have... Do I have a lot of iron? Not really. All right, let's make some iron. Oh, gotcha. I see you've been watching another Oni streamer. Could both you guys know? Oh man, <laughs> I'm losing my I'm losing my crowd, guys. My my viewers are watching other streamers now. Panic, panic induces. I have question: Why do you have three doors next to your storage? Dropping into it. Uh, I should sweep that tile this tile. If you didn't know, the decor penalty is only one tile wide. If you have uh, your decor fall into a door tile like this, the decor does not leave this space right here. So that means that this space right here is going to be where the decor actually goes to. So that penalty of minus 700 does not leave outside of the door space, which is why I have that. Now, having the doors there, I like it better than having a pit like this. Because my dupes could slide down the pole and grab an item without having to leave the pole. They could just slide down, grab, and then go wherever they need to go. It's a little bit better in my opinion, which is why I like this. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I'm still losing my Oni crowd. Feels bad. Feels bad. That's where you guys have been going. That's why my Oni community has been dying, huh? Feels bad, man. All right, all right. The bog buckets are actually maintaining. So as long as I have water, I, I feel like I should keep them alive. Are those all processors over there that you just listed, Holier? Alder, Rocker, Tiger, and Coffee? Is that Coffee Lake? Good night, Dizen. We'll see you next time. Hopefully. Hope you come back. All the memes, but I'm really self-conscious about it, so. You guys are memeing. I'm over here suffering. <laughs> it is what it is, though. Have a good night, man. What's going on, Mastaz? How are you? Hope you're doing good today. Hope you're having a nice Thursdays. They're all processors. Holy, did you look that up or did you know by heart? If you know by heart, hey man, he's a real one. He knows by heart, dude. Doesn't share stream times because he's GMT ACT. Feels bad. I had to look up the Rocket Lake. I didn't know Rocket Lake was a real one. I remember Coffee Lake because that's the processor I have right now.
All right, all right. So if we were to follow this as a floor, this would be the other floor. Coffee was a troubled and big tech jump. Interesting. We take the curative tablets because we don't have... Oh, a decorator, though. My only decorator. Man. Do I want this decorator? It's pure decorating. That means she's not going to do anything else. <laughs> All right, man. We'll take the tablets. We'll, we'll get another decorator eventually. Oh, man. All right, so that's gonna be the setup we have for that, which is chill. Uh, we will turn down this to zero, so we no longer hold food there. We're gonna go back into here. Priority eight, 25 kilograms of anything that's edible, muck root, nutrient bars, and swamp chard. We want things that do not perish and have it so that we can keep them for a long time for space. Miss Taz, how are you though? How was the Thursdays? Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing well. Make it a mat. Dude, Ari, please. Let's play some Destiny. Gotcha, gotcha. Did you get the computer sorted out? Everything's all good. Berry Sludge OP. You gotta get the Berry Sludge, man. Your strat is to make a researcher or a decorator after science is maxed out. Oh, I see. I don't like doing that because I technically have to take a researcher with me a lot of times. And if I do that, the, mor the morale requirement required to handle them in space becomes so high that it's a pain. I see you over there, though. That kind of works. Gives them some use. Dude, even though we took out his freaking suit so he's no longer with the soiled suit, he's still stressed out. Feels bad, man. Poor Ari, I know, right? He was just trying to help out the colony. He was just trying to help. Technically, I don't need this ladder anymore because I want this to be the floor. Which means I probably put that there. It's always those who want the help that get hurt. Feels bad, man. Too real for me, IRL. That should be good. A lot of CO2, so it makes me want to use the CO2 rockets. We don't have enough food in here yet. Once we do, though, we'll be ready to start telescoping. My dupes are suits only? Yep. I have them suits right as they get out of the room. Not bad. I think it's kind of convenient. All right, we're going to do five and five. And then this goes in. This goes into here. And then I cut this line right here. So this and this is gone. I don't need that line anymore. Technically, I just have the slime be across that. So, pull it down. And then everything should be good. Good thing you have a mis- Dude, no one's gonna use it, man. It's not plugged in. <laughs> it's here, but I'm not gonna plug it in, man. Come on. The massage table's a trap. It's a trap. He could dance with the jukebox. 
that's a better strategy. Wait, why so many stations? Is it for in case suits need repair so things could still go out? Mm, no, it's due to how oxygen feeds. When you have this many suits, it's usually because you understand that the amount of oxygen you're pumping out isn't enough to keep everything stockpiled. So instead of doing that and stressing out over having exactly 24 suits so that exactly 24 of my duplicates could leave anytime they want, I have extra. Meaning that when my suits need to charge, they could take their time and just keep charging. We make the suits inside too, so I don't have to worry about that. It's just that a lot of the times when you're doing Atmos suits, you want to have more suits than duplicates so that if the suits don't fill up with oxygen fast enough, that they'll be able to still, you know, go in and out. Because if you don't have enough oxygens, uh, separate oxygen pumps pumping in full packets, you don't keep up with the amount of oxygen the dupes breathe, come back, dock it up, and charge it. Like, if you do the math about it, you don't fill up the suit of oxygen immediately, right? So you have to give them time to refill up the suit with oxygen. Not only that, there's going to be time periods where the suits, if they're maxed out, and but they're worn, like uh, this suit's at 43%, all the extra oxygen comes out to the front. So a lot of the times you just want to have more suits than duplicates, which is why I do that. Yeah, I've run into that before. Yep, you gotta have it, man. You gotta have it. It's very convenient. Oh, we're still filling this up with oxygen? Feels bad, man. Dude, it's at 8 kilograms per tile. Okay. So we could telescope. We just need more food. Once we get more food, everything's gonna be good to go. Am I out of food at the fridge? I am. Okay. Ari man. Come on. We only have 600k cows. Okay, he's doing his job then. We have one more muckroot up top. There is two more down here. Three more. Four more. Okay, so once he grabs those, I think we'll be fine. We need those muckroots, man. We need them to make the deliveries. Because we need that food for space. Alright, so back to here. Let's just do a straightforward line like this and have everything else mined. Uh, so this spacing is off. I will have to reline it up though because I want to use the platform like this. So this means this is going to be dead space. So I just have to do that. And we'll just mine this out when we can. High stress on RA, that's fine. We could keep going. It's not really necessary right now, though. Oh! Who's dying? God damn it. Save them, boys. Save the decoy. Alright, we are alive. We're alive. Alright, alright. We gotta keep mining, gotta keep mining. Because I don't know where the farm's gonna start and stop. And I don't know if I want to do temperature control. Because this temperature is actually good enough to grow bristle blossoms. So I could technically just replace these bog buckets with bristle blossoms. Right? Temperature range, 5 to 30. We're at 22. And it's going to get colder, typically. Because it's negative over here. So this energy is going to push out, and we don't have a lot of heat generators anyways. So because of that, unless it's a tropical fish in here, it's going to warm up my map. I could also run the cold water from this, so I'm really not worried. Yeah, we might be able to just go bristle blossoms right here, and then we'll just get rid of the bog buckets. Uh, barbecue is starting to take off soon, hopefully. And we have plastic to the point where I can replace all the ladders with plastic. Okay, maybe just the one main ladder, because that used up almost four, 
four tons of plastic. My god. My fiance just say okay to me purchasing a expensive rifle. My god. <laughs> I see you over there, Hatchling. Have we have fun with that, man? Hope you have fun with it. Do you go hunting a lot? All right, so we want to make unperishable food. One of the things we need for that is sleet wheat to be grown. They require a temperature of minus 55 to five. So in theory, I could do a, I could do that loop setup that I, that I did. Okay. Does this require anything to be grown? Okay, if I want to domesticate it, that's going to be a long time. Okay, so I will want to make a separate setup. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. So, looking at this, I probably keep this platform set for myself. Okay, I'll have to remove this. Because you don't get a run speed bonus on that. That's what I want. And then afterwards, we'll have these two floors be my actual area for the farm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, I'm probably going to want some sweepers for this. I have an idea on how I want to cool this down. It's an idea. I hope it works, though. I see you guys in chat. Fancy, fancy. Oh, I actually don't want that floor then. Huh, didn't realize that. Okay, okay. Get the new tile space there. Alright, so I want to keep this empty so we could run across if we need to. So that means these two floors are going to be my Sweetle Room floors. So typically, you want a one space gap. Oh, but because of how it works. Ah, uh, damn it, I messed up. The liquid lock should be at the bottom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we have to do it like that. All right, all right. We're going to need a bottle emptier here. And then the floor setup is going to be a little bit weird. We have to deconstruct this, though. Keeps making a mess. Ari, man. At least he's not dying. Indeed, beautiful piece of work. I see you guys over there. Oh, he's crying again. Ari is starving again. There's literally just one last muck root. Ari, it's time to go home, man. How much calories you have? 900? Yeah, you're gonna be fine. Ari, it's time to go home. You're struggling hard over here. Come on, Ari. Stop crying. Stop crying, man. We're going to send you home right now. You're no longer going to be crying. Oh, he's going to get popped eardrums. Oh, never mind. Poor Ari. He's going to be fine. He's just rubbing his eyes because of the chlorine. And I need to start sweeping water. Ooh. Oh, a decorator. Hey, we're taking Ellie. Finally, we got a decorator. 
All right, so are we waiting on research on something? We're doing Radbolt engine, right? Okay, so we still need the data banks. We still need Radbolts. Okay. Cthulhu, guess what time it is? We need you, buddy, to do some more data banks. All right, so we're going to do that while we continue on the room setup. All right, so we use probably plastic ladders here. And then this needs to be oil. This is really jank, though, how we need to do this. Oh, hey, I can get oil from the Slicksters. <laughs> it's very little. It's very little. None of these guys are tame yet, though. All right, so that would be the setup, and I'm thinking we do the double door like that. Is what I'm thinking it's going to be necessary. We'll, we'll stop with the doors, though. I don't know if we need it yet. Okay, so... Top floor is going to be identical to the bottom floor. So that's all we need to do. Now... How do I want to do the tiles? That's a, good, that's a good question. If I do it like this, they're going to be on this floor. Which means I move this up by a tile as well. Which I don't mind. Ah, I see that I would need that. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. We're going to go with the every other pattern for this build. And then the sweeper setup is going to be what's most important. So it's going to be on this style because we're going to have the door right on that. That goes to here. So I'll stop using that door. That means I want to get past that then, right? So here, I need to be here, which goes out to this style. All right, which means I need to do this and then that, that. Cool. What is this? We're making a wild farm. Nameless one, just a wild farm, nothing special. You gotta use it, man. I mean, there's there's other ways to make natural tiles. It's just, it's a pain. It takes way too long, man. All right, so technically, I think that means we leave everything else. I think that's what that means. We have to leave everything else. Because I, I, I don't know if I'm going to have enough space. Use the natural tile mod. I see you over there, Hatchling. Okay, so the setup should be similar then. Because they're going to want to be like that. I also want this like that. wrong button. Oh, Cthulhu? Is he starving? Nah, nah, nah. He's good. He's good. I thought we left him out for a while. <laughs> he's been known there for like 10 minutes. Alright, so... Ah, uh, I can't do this yet. Causes issues. And then if it's here, one, two, three, four. So I need the tile on top. Which is the same thing. Okay, so we're good. Oh, shit. All 
All right. For pit planting? Yep, wild farms for pit planting. That's exactly what this is. Yar. All right. This is actually in the way. Do the debris items get pushed up? They don't? Can I sweep them while they're entombed? I can't. Oh, wow. So I could have stuff inside the doors and I don't know. That's very unfortunate. All right, so we're gonna make a different type of lock today. We're gonna be making what's called a pyramid lock. This is a pyramid lock, the reverse pyramid. And the good thing about this is that this is a vacuum in the middle. So this means that there's no heat transfer here, which is kind of weird because of the one drop properties, but it works. So we're gonna be using that today. I am going to pump out some stuff. The Tetris T-Lock. It's like an inverted pyramid, that's what I see. I see it with the Tetris pieces though. I think if you open the doors, yeah, it's, it's a pain though to open all the doors. With a bit of luck, the debris gets pushed up in the natural tile forms, but wouldn't count on it. Nope, it gets entombed. You see the buried objects that you would have. Kind of like, uh... Kind of like this. That's what you get. And the buried objects, whatever you get, stuck inside the door. I know that out of experience. That's what happens every time. No, 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 like, not not do one and then copy settings. I have to wait for the dupes to individually toggle them on and off. Because you need to have the door closed to do the glitch. That's the problem. You have to have the door in a closed state in order for the glitch to work, I believe. Who's starving? Cthulhu? Oh, damn! Okay, we left them out for too long. Come back, man. Take a dump in space and come back. Whoa, whoa, the feature to work. I mean, yes, this is indeed a feature. I'm sorry I'm not J. Cole. I can't go double platinum, no features. That's tough, man. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. I understood I'm just an uh am idealist in this game. To my detriment mostly. Eh, it's all good, man. It happens. If you are a perfectionist, it is what it is. Oh, that's incorrect. Damn it. This was not the correct height. It's one tile lower. I messed that up. Alright, so I'm not doing anything with the doors yet, because technically they take up more space this way, making it easier to pump out the gas. So we're going to do the natural tiles afterwards. I will temporarily need a door here, though, so that the critters don't break out out of the critter jail. Why are they one lower, but the lower ones are not? Nope, they're they're all the same height. There is four tiles here from this base, and there's four tiles here from that base. It's the same height. They're both plus one. They're both plus one. Oh! Sweep the cobalt. That's refined metal. We don't want to waste that. Oh, the sweeper. Ah, because uh, I need to pull, put a roll of insulator right here. But I can't do that until I finish doing the natural tiles. I thought you were referencing the uh, layer of everything else. Yeah, but the sweepers, I, I want to put a layer of insulated. 
And the reason why I want it here instead of here is because insulated tiles don't do anything, but regular tiles give you a run speed bonus. And I want to utilize this hallway as running across, right? I might like block off access from du duplicates running through the uh, hatch rooms. So it's better if they run across here because they get the room speed bonus. If they happen to need to run across, that's it. All right, waiting for that to do its thing. The KCAL should be all right. Looking good. Oh, we're going to get fish soon. Yeah, that's right. Our fish farm is chilling, chilling. Chilling, chilling. Gotta have all the fish, boys. Now, after that... My oxygen back up to 370. I would want it to be double my hydrogen, though, realistically. And another thing I've been thinking about is... Uh, I could technically put a power control station here. So I could start tuning up my generators. I'm not even kidding. I think I might even want to do that. I have a few things I need to do before we're going to pick up my fiance. Gotcha, Hatchling. Take care of business. Thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time. All right. If I were to do that, then I would have my doors here. Oh, you've never seen this nameless? I would recommend going into my YouTube. Exclamation point YouTube if you don't know I have one. I go over this design on how it works, what it does, but it's really strong. Really strong. If you're curious, man, you can check out the YouTube for that. If you need to know exactly, um, because of how the design works, you need somewhat of an exact amount. More so, it's just understanding you can't go over a certain limit, else it breaks the system. But once you, that's probably the information you probably want anyways. All right, all right, so... Can't really do anything with the pips, the new dupe. Oh, Ellie. Oh, you're not assigned to decorating, but that's fine. Oh, we're starting to get... Oh, no. I thought we were starting to get a vacuum. We're still in the grams phase, which is going to take a while. So after that, even though I do want to continue with the telescope scanning, we really can't. The thing we could set up, though, is setting up this asteroid, which might be something we might want to do. Uh, let me make one suit. How many do we have on the four? Three. Let's dock them up. All right. So we have excessive oxygen sometimes. And this is a input. Let's activate this. We might be able to send a builder to the other planet. And then breach the top of the map. And then what we could use is uh, solar panels plus the oxygen to start doing some telescoping, which is the only thing we would want to do anyways. We would want to telescope what's this, uh, what's up top. Since this is the teleporter output, this is going to be what we need. So we need to mine that out. We probably go up this way as it's close. Not bad. Set it up over here then. The oxygen temp shouldn't matter. We're just going to use a regular pipeline. And then the oxygen should be coming from here. So... I don't want to grab the oxygen without having it be priority. Yeah, so it has to be here then. We'll do that. We probably don't even need this to be insulated, to be honest. Just a regular pipeline, because it's not going to be that hot in here anyways. Go through that way. Just like that. Cool. I'm using your design for submerged steam turbine, set up for cooling my metal volcanoes. Dude, it's, it's nice, man. It works really well. The design I have up with the two steam turbine setup, it actually starts at 124 degrees for the steam temp and then once it erupts it's you generate enough uh steam energy to power the aqua tuner and the sweeper loaders after which the excess power you just feed out and after the eruption 
because it's a time setup if anything cools down faster it leaves earlier but everything else is timed where it doesn't matter what how hot it is it just leaves that time period actually between eruptions is enough time for the steam to actually go back down to 124. so in between eruptions it always starts at 124 degrees it's so strong dude it's really good but hey happy to be able to help bottomless stomach two kitchen menaces this guy's actually a cook shabby dresser it's not actually that great I think we reject everybody. No one here is looking that that uh that hot right now. Okay, so everything in here is ready, right? We're a little bit low on food. Ah, no food. Waiting for the vacuum. Oh, we don't have power for this. Oh, we don't need power for this. It's only when uh, we're using a loader it needs power. Nice, nice. So we wait for the pipeline. This got done so we could cut that right there so all the oxygen comes out that way does the oxygen not overflow or maybe it does we just don't have enough so it's it's looking a little bit jank <laughs> it's because of uh it's because of how when you build a pipe, the uh, pipelines act a little bit weird. All right, so we should be able to go like that. Flow out, nice, nice. All my pumps working. That's a good. That's a good thing to see. All right, so with that, waiting for the vacuum. They we're gonna have oxygen on the other side. We need to choose a builder, someone that could build, also mine. Actually, let me check out the mining. We go through here. Oh, there's granite. We could technically go through just sandstone, though, and not worry about it. Yeah, we could technically go through just sandstone and not have to uh, fear anything. Okay, so we literally just want a good builder with low morale. Ari, we are not sending you again. You had a bad time, dude. Sorry about that. Uh, there's Ellie, who's also going to have a bad time. D. Mayer, not a builder. Is it Gilbert? Gilbert. Yeah, it's Gilbert. We're sending Gilbert again. Gilbert's kind of a stud. Uh, teleporter? Gilbert, where you at? Let's go, buddy. All right, so we go this way. Uh, so this is a... This is a three-tile door. I've only just realized that. So technically, I go like this. Ugh, I can't mine the granite. I would go around it. And then from here... Technically, I have to go like this. The sand might drop on me, but it should be fine. And then from here, we need to break out. Cool. All right, back to here. I need to hit the button. All right, should be fine. Oh, there's no food here. Oh, no. <laughs> Pick up the muck root, dude. We're going to need it. We might have to kill some puffs. Oh, that's going to suck. We're going to actually have to kill some puffs. Hopefully, we can do this in like a cycle. Just set it up. And then maybe make mush bars. Oh, don't I need glass over here for this to work? Maybe and I could just have someone run the wheel by themselves and have them just kind of uh, telescope by themselves. Now, I need to send food, man. Ah, uh, that means I should have food before doing it. Ah, uh, it's such a pain. As long as Gilbert's not hungry. Wait, is he running? Oh, he's, that's pointless, actually. So we don't need that. That's also deconstructed. So, generating power. Uproot. Okay, that's going to be food. We are no longer going to allow manual use, so we can't make the deliveries anymore. After we're done with that, Gilbert, we need you mining. We need you mining over here, Gilbert. Alright. Grab that, let him do his thing. How bad is this? Milligrams. It's still in grams on the edge. Okay. 
it's gonna take some time. We might be able to uh, help this out, actually. I am gonna start doing extra tiles, pushing out the gas to the right. Like, what else can we do to speed this up, right? Technically, we could do that as insulated. We just need to push the gas over. No, that means I have to get rid of the auto sweepers again. Ah, what a pain. I do want to speed this up. I really do. So we'll deconstruct it, push them out again. Oh, we don't have a bathroom over here. That's going to be the death of me. Uh, let's get them an outhouse. <laughs> they don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. We're back to the outhouse, boys. Wait, aren't you a builder, Gilbert? How come you're not building the outhouse? You're not. Build supply. Dig, store, operating, tidy. No farming. Okay, okay. Got the outhouse. Nice, nice. Got the dirt. Now you could pee freely now. Hey, baby. The mamba's awake. He's done sunbathing. Oh man. There we go. All right, so manual airlock. We could put right here. And then I need a Oh, I can't activate this. Oh, come on. Gilbert, we're going to have to give you a uh... Field research skill. Damn it. Gilbert, do you have enough points? You do. Eight out of six. I'm sorry, Gilbert. This is for now. Damn it, man. <laughs> I can't activate that. So the logic is we have oxygen here. And then we overflow the rest. If we have power on the outside via solar panels, it'd be easy business. So I do need to turn that on. Let's push this out still. So it's right here, right? All right, that goes like that. This is activated. Nice. We're just waiting for the other teleporter to be turned on. I have glass, right? I do. Okay, cool. Have a good amount of it. Let's go, let's go. Milligrams, polluted oxygen. We gotta do what we gotta do, man. So that we vacuum this faster. Are they tamed? They are, nice. That means we got in another, we got closer to another achievement. Okay. This is going to be glass. I want to have a person deliver as much as they can. And then we'll just manually uh, monitor it. It feels like that's the best way to do it a lot of the times. Thousand kilograms. Yeah, we're good. We're good. No more manual use. That 1,000 delivery is all we need. We should not need more than that. All right, so we're chilling over here. How are we on this place? Oh, wow, the pipeline's almost built. Okay. No beds, feels bad, man. So 
So since we're done with super sustainable, how much rooms is this? 93 power plants, 96. You know what? I'll do this just so that we can get started with the uh, tune-up Achievo. I might as well mine out the lead then. That seems to be necessary. Number four. So we can do it now. Okay. The stress is probably going to go up a lot higher now, though, as a result. You got this. You got this. Hey, there it is. Put that handprint on it. Sometimes it doesn't line up. But we got it. We got it. Oh, come on. You held your breath for that, dude? There we go. Alright, nice. Glass. We get oxygen. Not even mad. Alright, so we have something called an enclosed telescope. That we're going to want. We're going to put some tiles underneath. Not only that, I'm going to need my ladder. Probably going to be sandstone. Go up this way... I could climb up that way. So we're going to want to do something like that then. And then have that. This is cold enough. Oh, but the oxygen keeps going on and off. Because I'm going to need a battery bank. And I'm thinking I want to put it in somewhere cool so it doesn't get too hot. I guess this is fine. Huh, water? That's not a bad thing to have. The sands kind of sucks, though. Now, I'm probably going to want to use heavy wire. Uh, no, I think a regular wire should be fine. Have that. I don't want the batteries outside because they'll break. Alright, that should be good for now. Back to here. This is still not a vacuum. My god. This is like forever. We need this to hurry up. Feeding out the oxygen. This is starting to run out. That's fine. As long as the lines are moving. That's what I want to see. Ah, I could do some shenanigans here to redo some of the pipelines. Eh, it's fine. I don't think I need to do it yet. Cthulhu is no longer grabbing data banks. Alright, we're sending you back out again, man. I'm sorry. But we need the data. Alright. I heard shenanigans. Yes. Sometimes, man, spaghetti pipelines. So what is it? 10 docks for one pipeline? Uh, it depends on how your layout is. To be honest, you're not really so much worried about the number of docks. More so... Well, the number of docks do matter. But what you're worried about is if you feed in from the front or from the back. Usually, the main thing is you have to split up the front lockers from the back lockers in terms of oxygen line because of how they always will dock the Atmos suit on the first locker they run into. And of course, when they're leaving, they're gonna grab the first suit on the first locker as well. So these spots in the beginning, you have a lot more usage of. So because of that, it's not a ratio. The front docks will always have fewer ports because they're constantly drawing oxygen versus the docks in the back are really just a top off and you could get away with more locker room stocks like this per oxygen line. I, I hope that makes sense.
We all know that the Big Apple is, but does anyone know where the uh, Minneapolis is? Wow, Miss Taz, I see you over there. I see you over there, Miss Taz. Coming in with the puns. Did you know that when Spartacus saw his wife got eaten? Did you know he wasn't mad at the lion? He was a gladiator. Got him, boys. Got him. Be like that sometimes. I love it, yo man. I happened to run into that the other day. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I gotta, I gotta pocket that. Glad he ate her. Gladiator. A. Why is riding a bike jumping off then riding a bike again good for the environment? Uh. I don't know any words. Recycling. Hey, Dex coming in. Dex coming in. He knew. I see you over there, Dex. You two are about the pun's life, huh? How you doing, Dex? I see you over there. Guys, guess who's back? The star of the show is back on the bed. It's Mamba. All is well. Dex, did you know that your Discord account is shadow banned? I just need to let you know that. You know about that, right? I hope you do. Okay. You know how to fix that, man? Because when you join my Discord, you automatically got... Uh, hidden as a spammer not by my channel but by the discord app by itself so we can't do anything about that but i'm just letting you know man that wasn't me discord got you man because i was like i just talked to Dex uh dex right now in stream what do you mean i was confused but apparently discord does that sometimes maybe your account got hacked i don't know all right speed this up how are we doing over here still working still working oh no gilbert what's your stress reaction oh we're not allowing you to eat the muckroot or nutrient bars okay so gilbert gilbert where'd you go this that that gilbert gets to eat all of that all right so what's your stress reaction because you're stressed out right now Oh, you're also a crier, dude. Feels bad. Feels bad, man. Hope for the best right there. All right, we're at micrograms. So after this goes down to single digits, it's going to vacuum all the way. We're just waiting for the bottom level, actually. The bottom level is actually where the issue is right now. This is in single digits. This is going to vacuum up top soon, but the bottom is not. So we'll have to wait. All right, all right. So we're doing pretty good. Uh, you know what? We could try. No, I don't have a lot of wart seeds, do I? I could probably check. Hmm. Either that, or do it in space and try to multiply shine bugs. Oh, the crashed satellite would have been amazing for radiating food. I just realized that. That's right. The crashed uh, satellite would have been amazing for making mutated seeds. So one of the achievements I need to do is mutate the seeds. And I need to mutate every seed. That's not a fun time. <laughs> it's not a fun time, man. Some of the decor plants are not the business. So, hmm. 
I could either do it with nuclear waste later. Oh, the shine bugs are actually multiplying. Oh my god. I guess they start off with enough calories that they don't die. That's kind of impressive. <laughs> I have shine bugs here now. Maybe I could do it here passively. That's kind of an idea. Why not? Just get started with anything that can grow here. We try to mutate it. Just an idea. It's like, yeah, we got shine bugs. Why not, right? All right, so let's look at that achievement. Is it every seed GMO A okay? Thimble reed, meal wood, gas grass mutant. Oh crap! Dust cap, brittle blossom, dash assault line. <laughs> Dude, what is this? This jank. This mad jank. The spindly grub fruit plant mutant. Does a regular grub fruit not count? <sighs> this is gonna be fun. All right, so I can't grow this because this is six degrees. Not that either. Five with the bristle blossom might be possible. That's part of it, right? Bristle blossoms? It is. Okay. We're growing bristle blossoms, boys. Hoping for the best. This way we'll get some seeds too. And then we have light from the shine bugs as well. So hopefully that's a good starter to get some uh, bristle blossom seeds that I will need later. Oh, ah. Come on. Get vacuumed, please. Can this please get vacuumed? Can this please get vacuumed? Y'all see this? It's not moving. Feels bad, man. Is the plant for gassy moves mutatable? I mean, it's on the list. It has to be. I just have to find the planet at this point. All right, Cthulhu, we're sending you back. It actually makes you do gas grass. Yeah, man. I, that's such a pain, dude. <laughs> that's such a pain. I think this creates a vacuum if I do this. This is weird strat, but I think it works. Because I'm thinning out the gas per tile. And if it goes down to single digits, it will start retracting. And as I deconstruct tiles, it has to get pulled back by the vacuum. So effectively, I create a vacuum by creating a vacuum. Strats, baby. Let's go. Ah, oh, look at that. And it's all dying off. Let's go. And we have a vacuum, boys. We did it. So we do that now. We deconstruct each door. The, the deleting gas events. Imbalanced strat. No, it's perfectly balanced. This is like when Dono snaps something. Perfectly fair and balanced. Alright, sweep that. We continue the decon like this. Now we do the doors again. This goes up to that. I go to here. No buried objects I see. I got lucky, man. I got lucky. Don't know if I will always be lucky. Oh, come on. One? Exactly one. I'm actually going to redo it. Let's go, boys. It's time. <laughs> I got to redo it, man. Someone debated me. We'll sweep everything first. Gilbert starving. Oh, Gilbert's crying too. We could send you home though. That's the upside. I don't have the teleporter or the other stuff built though. Ah oh, man. You wanna see a magic trick? Do man. I can't believe I got gut. 
All right, it looks like I'm just going to have to kill some pups. These guys got to die today. Hate to see it. I don't want to send Gilbert home. He's almost done here. So we got to go that way. And then I need a kill and gra Oh, no, there's meat here already. Gilbert, come on, man. Stop crying. Stop crying, dude. We're trying to get you some food right now. If he goes below, like, 400 calories, I think we send him back home to the original planet. Because, man, he's starving and crying at the same time. Build rooms for him. He doesn't need rooms. He needs food. That's what he needs. He just needs food. I was eating half of a nutrient bar. Feels bad. Imagine someday we can create clone like the dupes. I see you over there. He's literally 100% stress. That's true. He is. See, that's part of the soiled suit, though. That's nothing to do with anything else. He just peed his suit. That's the only reason why he's kind of mad. Oh, he doesn't want to dig? Come on, man. Pause, pause, pause. Hello? Oh, my game froze for a second. My god. Uh, digging. Please go dig. Can you go dig? Or are you going to just sit here and die? I think you're going to die, huh? Gilbert, not like this, man. We need you. Alright, he's, he's doing it. And he should be able to just grab the meat and eat it the moment he digs through. Come on, Gilbert. I have faith. What? You ran out of stamina? He might actually die. Oh my god. Get the food, get the food. Get the food. Eat the food, eat the food. Hey, we're alive, baby. Let's go. Ah, uh, has to breathe still. All right, we're good, we're good. Split second sleep. Yeah, man, power nap. That's what they call it. Power nap, power nap. It's 15, it's 25 seconds per hour in the game of Oxygen Not Included, which means that if you take a one second nap, it's literally 10 minutes. <laughs> That's technically a power nap, dude. I'm just saying, that's technically a power nap. Alright. We'll come back and check on them in a little bit. We need to do the uh, cobalt here. Uh, I need to sweep this tile. I want it to have a door here. We deconstructed this. I need to keep that for the uh, design. Solid tile. So before we do anything, we need to have the critter drop off. Oh, oh no, I could, I could, yeah, do this at the end. Yeah, I didn't think about it. I was like, can I fit that with the insulate tiles? I'm like, oh, I can't. I have to put it at the edge. That's fine. Put that there, put that at the edge. Now we can get rid of this. Get rid of that. Get rid of the vent plus pump. All right. Nice, nice. Now that that's trimmed, we could do this. I need another critter drop off here. Alright, so now this is a vacuum. 
So this is going to be sleet wheat. They need oxygen, pea oxygen, or carbon dioxide. We'll probably feed it oxygen. Makes a lot of sense, right? So O2 line immediately right here. Very convenient. We're going to take a vent. Take a line. It doesn't matter what temperature it is, to be honest. We'll cool this down ourselves. Alright, I just need to make sure I could pick up most of the tiles. Oh, I can't pick up from the far left. Oh, what a meme. Alright, I'll do this like that then. Because it's so far away from the sweeper, I can't do that. What a pain. I need to be able to pick up all the eggs. That's all it is. Alright, another thing is that I don't have spindly grub fruits being grown yet. Oh, all the pea water got used. Okay, interesting. I can cut this now. And have this exit. Nice. All the pea water is gone. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Sleet wheat grub grub farm? Yep. You want to have the sleet wheats, man. The thing is, is that I don't have grub grubs available yet. I probably want to make this wild so that I don't have to deal with uh, feeding them sulfur if I can. All right, so sweep that. Sweep the loots while we can. Evening, sir. What's going on, Too Easy? How are you? How was the Thursdays, Mr. Too Easy? How are you today? I hope you're having a good Thursday. Has my guy learned anything yet? You know what's funny? I was watching your dupe. And he was standing here watching the other dupes dance. So I gotta ask you, Too Easy. Do you know how to dance? For whatever reason, your dupe was just chilling there like he didn't want to dance. I gotta ask, man. Starvation. Gilbert again. He has 18k cows of meat. We'll have to kill a puff or something then. Wait, isn't that, is that me right there? No, it's only 18k cows. Alright, we have to kill this puff. Feels bad. Oh, is there food here? Ah, this is water. I don't need any of this. Uh, Mr. Starving Gilbert. Maybe he can't do this. And we need a... That food he's going to grab is not going to be enough. Come on, Gilbert. Attack him. There it is. Hit him with the proton cannon. Meets back on the menu. Let's go. Absolutely can't dance. Maybe the robot if drunk. Hey, hey, hey I see you. Yo, man, I see you over the Renee. Sometimes they got two left feet. They'd be like that, man. Yo, man, can you just grab the food from here? Going to use the toilet. But you're starving. Am I getting this correct? You're going to rather use the toilet than eat when you're starving? I hope you don't die, man. <laughs> Guys making poor life choices. That guy is struggling so bad. Maybe Cthulhu is right. Maybe we should make the uh, living arrangements a little bit better for them. All right, so this is good. It's breathable as much as we want it to be. That dude's a mess. Maybe needs intervention. Dude, man. It's, it's not his fault, though. He doesn't have food. He doesn't have anything he needs. We're not providing the necessities. It, it, it'd be like that sometimes. Alright, so... We need to have a bucket of seeds here. And then I need to do the cooling loop that I want to do. So the cooling loop idea should be... 
manage it on this tile. Top tile. So we'll do the edge. One, two, three, four, five. And then the last tile. So I think it would be... like that. And then I need to be able to get to here. We gotta build those ladders there to be able to build the pipelines. Alright. Now we need to pull the line from here to run this cool thermal energy into the loop. So the thing with this is that I think I do this and have this in here. I would want a liquid shutoff, so. It would be something like this with the thermal check right before that. Of course, this is powered. Just like that. And then we need power for the auto sweepers, which shouldn't be too bad. This should be lead, so we get started on this with the uh, power tuning. Alright, so this loop effectively keeps the water in a loop. If it's cold enough, uh, sleep wheat temperature is going to be positive five. I'm going to try to keep it at zero. So if it's below three degrees, we allow it to stay here. At three degrees, I should no longer get ice. And then if it's a starving, who's starving? Oh, it's Gilbert again. All right, Gilbert, you got like nothing done. It's time to send you home. Now you're going to eat? Oh my God. You're actually going to die. Oh my God. Take off the suit. Oh, it's so much water. Come on, 150 cake house. Every time, dude. He was an ugly crier, not a vomiter. Yeah. All right, time to send you home, man. You struggle doing the second half of the jobs. We need to send another builder over here. Set this up. We have oxygen, which is cool. We just don't have enough uh, anything else. <laughs> All right, so we'll wait for Gilbert. Where you at, Gilbert? You're asleep. Get out of here. Is it your schedule? That's why. No, you're just tired. Gilbert, go home. Go home, Gilbert. And you woke up with food poisoning. Oh, that sucks. It feels stupid when a dupe is starving and got vomit because of it and some things too. Oh yeah, that happens. Vomiting reduces cake house, man. Vomiting is scary. You run out of uh, cake house and your dupe immediately just dies. Okay, so this is going to be, if it's below green, we keep sending it. If not, we have to break out of it. Now, the other thing we need is a bridge that's probably going to go like that. going out that way now this is the pipeline so this is very straightforward we would literally just do something like that I see to make this a little bit better in ourselves I would do a setup like this okay that makes sense we'll set that up but is a strat to be carnivore it is 100% it is a lot of people don't know that if you don't feed your dupes and they're hungry, 
they'll make up the calories the next day. Meaning that if you need to do uh, carnivore, if the dupes don't have meat, they have to wait till the next day and they'll eat double so that they make up for the difference. So that in and of itself is uh, it's pretty great, man. All right, all right. So Gilbert's back home, right? Teleport is already charged up, which is cool. I could send someone else over right now, which is, uh, feels bad, man, moment. Looking at the research. Oh, this is done. We're about to finish. We're about to finish the Radbolt rocket. Are you serious? We're about to finish the Radbolt rocket engine. So we could actually start doing the rest of the tech stuff that I have to do. That's not bad. That's not bad. That might mean, though, I might want a second generator right there. And I could put this line on something else. So it's not too much power draw. Thinking about it. Thinking about it. Or maybe even putting a separate transformer for this. Which isn't too bad. No line. That's fine. Hopefully we can mutate them. Okay, so... This is not cold yet, but we will chill it. There we go. This is somewhat ready. So we go like this. I don't want to break the abyss light. We can do that later. I will deconstruct that pipeline. Actually, we could keep it and we could cut it instead. All right, so we're making sure that the water is coming out so that we could heat it up for sieving so that we could use it for the water and the electrolyzer this is going down that we used to be at 350 so i need to add water into here so what i think i will do is instead of having that feed out of there i need the water pipe to come out Oh, that's kind of interesting. I could do that. And then do another bridge here. So that it's a little bit of a clean exit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I think I have an idea. We do this. That pushes down, and we mine that out. And then we put a water reservoir in here that holds the water that we get out that will feed into the metal refinery and then feed into the electrolyzer. Basically, we'll be using it as a uh, way to stockpile the water. It's not going to be that big of a deal, though. Very straightforward setup. So for now, we'll have five pipes all insulated like that. This has to come up. It's most likely going to look like this. We could come in from this side to build the pipe. Okay. And then we could run this this way and have that feed into the input. Okay, and then we'll redo how this works on this side. So I could do this now, it doesn't hurt me. And then we could start cooling down the room. And then once it's cold enough, it could leave the system. And then we could take that warmer, cold water for whatever it is we want to use it for. So that means that uh, we don't have to feed it directly into the uh, metal refinery. Oh, there's also this. Forgot about that. Uh, water. All water can just be dumped into here and we'll pump it out. Especially this hot water right there. Might as well. All right. Did we get a smooth baby yet? Nope. Oh, it's still a 1%. I'll get one one of these days. I'll have to start feeding the Metal War, though. Hello, hello, everybody. What's going on, TJ? How are you today? How is the Thursdays? Hope you're having a nice one, dude. I am going to need more Rad Bolt research. I do have a lot of data banks right now. I guess I could start grabbing... Oh, Droko. 
That's going to be something I would want. And then probably diamond press, because I'm going to start needing to uh, have to stack up the diamonds. Just crawled out of bed, I see a TJ. Nice, nice. What's the plans for today, Mr. TJ? What's the plans going to be for today? All right, so we're trying to chill it out. Some of the pipes are hot, which is kind of funny. But we'll try to chill it out, chill it out. We don't need temp shift plates for this. This is just going to be a slow process. Oh, I don't have overlap. That actually means I should trim this like this. That actually does mean I should do that. And it actually means this is in a bad spot again. God damn it. Because it's supposed to be... Oh, I would have to do it earlier then. Yeah, I'll have to do it here. You're gonna paint a mini for a competition? Nice. They have competitions for painting minis? That's a thing, man. That's awesome, dude. Hope you have fun with that. So there's where the issue lies. This does not help me. And instead, I will have to do a radiant pipe here. And here. It's a little bit off, but I think that's going to have to be the play. This is a line that doesn't matter if it jams or not. Oh, I can't deconstruct that unless I go through with the ladder. Okay. Heck yeah, Google Golden Demon 2022. Some amazing painters out there. I believe that. V Vegas this year? Oh, that's crazy. That is crazy. Wait, wait, TJ, you in Vegas? <laughs> Are you in Vegas right now? Is that what it is? Oh, joyous seeds. I'm taking those. All right, right. We need this. Oh, that doesn't fit. <sighs> Every time. All right, I have to move that. Just so that I could fit a critter drop off. I'm not a good painter. Mediocre at best. Been doing it for a year only. Gotcha, gotcha. Yo, man, is it the dream that one day you'll get there, dude? Is that the dream? Or is it really just casual? You know, do it for fun, kind of a thing. I should probably share loaders. That makes it more convenient. And it works, nice. All right, and all we're gonna need now is power. Uh, Very straight shot, right? Something like that. And then very easily something like that. And we just have to connect something to this system. I could probably get away with a duplicate running on a hamster wheel here. Or even tap into the hydrogen, because we have a lot. <laughs> I have a lot of hydrogen. All right, so the room's cold enough. No, it's not. I need to be closer to zero. Some of the water actually leaves. Oh, a lot of water is actually leaving already. Hey, we're cooling down pretty well. We're cooling down pretty well. Got to bring in the cold water, though. All 
All right, so we are still using these batteries, and that's that's super jank. The feed into the uh, metal refinery right there. I should probably start using hydrogen on, especially the burn off line. We could probably just pull the hydrogen line over to. Oh, we have a lot of spaghetti pipes though. We might not be able to pull it past. <laughs> this is mad spaghetti pipes. I do want to trim this though, so we could get to uh, the metal refinery from over here. So, looks like I should do this. Just to mine it out, get it started, come out from the other way and start building the tiles over here. As I think we should. <laughs> 